Hey everybody, it's Bjorn from WP Learning Lab, and in this video I'm going to show you how and why you want to disguise your publicly displayed username. Now when you first create your WordPress site, you chose a username, and it better not have been admin. It was probably, because you're smart, it was probably something like your first name, or some combination of letters and numbers, or who knows. But whatever it was, it wasn't admin, which is good. Because what happens is, there, there's something called a brute force login attack, where a hacker tries various combinations of usernames and passwords to hawk, hack into your account. And before, when WordPress required, or the only option was to have the username admin, the hacker already had half the work done for them. They already knew the username, all they had to do was guess the password. Now with the ability to create custom usernames, the hacker has to guess both the right username and the right password, which makes it twice as hard. However, there's something that nobody really shows you and that hackers do know about that makes it really easy to figure out what your username is. So again, half the battle is done for them. And in this video, I'm gonna show you how to hide your true username. So you're either misleading the hacker and he thinks he has the right one and they don't, or they just have to work twice as hard to get in and they'll probably move on to the next site that's an easier target. So in a lot of themes, there is something called the bio box. And in that bio box, it shows information about the person who posted an article. So if we go onto this uh, demo site that I have here, just a basic Aveda theme install, nothing special. I was just messing around showing people how to do stuff. But at the bottom of every post, there's something called about the author. And beside it, it has my name. And this is actually my username, the username that's used to log into the site. And that happens by default. So when you create your WordPress install, you pick your custom username. By default, that is the one that's gonna be displayed on the website. And hackers know that nobody really knows this. So they can just go, they can find a post that you posted Bam, they know your username, then all they'd have to do is get your password or guess your password. So I'm gonna show you how to fix that. If we go back to our dashboard and we hover over users and cl then click on all users, we see our list of users here and the one who created that post was this user account under Bjorn. If we hover over that and click on edit, we scroll down a bit, we see that the username is indeed Bjorn, which is what was being shown on the website. But four or five entries down below, or fields down below, is a drop down box. And beside it, it says display name publicly as. So you can choose to display your name not as your username, which is what you want to do. So what you can do is you could add a pen name. Say I wanted to add Bob maybe Bob Flemington as my name. And that actually instantly updates this dropdown so you can pick various combinations of the first name and last name. What I recommend is that you don't use your own name. If you're really paranoid about security, don't use your own name. Use a pen name for this stuff. If you're not too concerned about security, you can use your first name and last name, maybe you want a different last name or maybe your first and middle name. What you want to do is just make sure that the publicly displayed name is not you, your username. That's the only goal here. So when we, I'm going to just choose Bob Flemington there. I'm going to scroll down to the bottom, click on update profile. Then if we go back to our post where it says Bjorn Allpass, or it used to, we ref refresh the page. And now the author is Bob Flemington. So a hacker now either thinks the login name is Bob or Flemington or the combination of the two, or they, they, they pretty much have to guess what the username is. And in actual fact, the username is Bjorn, which is way different than what they see here. So that makes a hacker's life very hard. And chances are they're just gonna move on to the next site to hack because it'll be easier. So in this video, I showed you how to disguise your publicly displayed username to help thwart brute force login attacks. I hope this video helps you. My name is Bjorn Allpass from WP Learning Lab. Please make sure you subscribe, follow us on social media, and check out wplearninglab.com where we write about WordPress every single day. Talk to you soon.